Fox 11's Laura Smith is getting a look at the destruction, and she joins us now live via broadband technology. Good morning, Laura. Good morning, Rachel. We're here at the Wittenberg Middle School, where the American Red Cross has set up its emergency operations. Joining me is Lori Delane. Lori, tell us a little bit about how the Red Cross has been helping out. We actually set up a shelter and gathering center last evening for any of the community to come. And we also have our emergency response vehicle that's going around through the communities providing refreshments and snacks. We had a team of nurses going around checking for any medical needs, any of the special care po population. And uh, we have been just a support and information area also. And not just to the community, but also to the emer emergency workers. Correct. We've had a lot of the power companies and the county personnel that have been doing a large volume of cleanup, and we have been providing assistance to them as well. Now, it must have been quite a challenge for you last night when the power went out. How did you make things work? Well, we had backup generators and lights. The county came in and also provided all of their generators. Um, you know, the city was completely dark, so we had people coming in to use the restroom facilities as well as getting snacks, refreshments, and, you know, a place even just to eat with, you know, electricity. And did people take advantage of the shelter during the during the storm? Yes, we had just a, just a couple people, and uh, we but like I said, a lot of them came after to use the facilities, you know, with the electricity. So, you know, we we had kind of a twofold operation. Okay, and of course the the sun is shining today, but the the damage won't be quickly forgotten. Um, tell us what the Red Cross is doing today to help out. We have a few di disaster assessment teams, and they will be going through the communities, a um, couple of cities, looking at damage and you know recording it getting the statistics out to those who need it and then providing further assistance based off of the damage that we see. Okay, and lastly, uh, you said that it was really a, a cooperative effort with everyone here uh, working on this. Yeah, the community really came together, you know, neighbor helping neighbor. Uh, you know, it's good to see that even, uh, you know, with the power companies coming up and helping from all different areas. It was just good because they got together quickly and got a lot of the damage, the power lines, the trees, you know, just people getting, taking care of them and getting them, you know, down. <laughs> okay. And that work continues today, of course. And thank you very much, Lori, for joining us. We'll send it back to you, Rachel.